let's start with the Beckhams, who were on the red carpet last night, as we said, for their new Netflix documentary series. It's actually released today. Well, one of the few journalists there invited was ITV's entertainment reporter, Rishi Davda, who joins me now alongside Lucy Cave. The whole family turned up? Yeah. 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 They put on a very united front. They look closer than ever. David and Victoria joined by Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz and Harper, the youngest at just mm -hmm. 12 years old. But they weren't the only people there. There were a whole host of A-listers, as right. expected, the likes of Emma Bunton, James Corden, Anna Wintour, Gary Neville, Alex Scott, among others. And like you said, lucky enough to get a chance to go, but also speak to David. And he said to me that despite having to rehash some of those tough moments when going through the archive, he did it for his family. It's fascinating. And in a way, what do you think? Because you two have seen it. You've seen, you know, the start of it. Um, they're behind it in a way. So how real is it going to be? Do you think it's about as real as you can get? The thing that really struck me watching the first couple of episodes is this sense of vulnerability that you don't often get. Okay. I think we often see the Beckhams presented in front of hundreds of cameras or, or in the newspapers, mm. but rarely do you get to go inside their home right. uh, and see them sat on the and sofa. See the <laughs> yeah, see the kitchen, which is very tidy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's David Beckham because he's super tidy. Like maybe just too much. Yeah, I mean, and, you, and you show that, and it is really revelatory. I mean, I think there was like 50 hours of interviews that, wow. that were done. So I do think you're right, it does show them very kind of raw and, and very emotional as well. And, and like you've said, they talk about something that I never thought they would talk yeah, about. Yeah, this alleged affair. Yeah, indeed. Mm. So, I mean, this was the kind of elephant in the room. This is in episode four, and it's definitely worth the wait because it's really emotional. Um, they're talking really openly. David seems like he's he's nearly in tears at one point, talking about just how... how it seems like they were very close to, to splitting up. He talks mm. about how they were fighting for their marriage. Um, he hates the fact that he put Victoria through all that heartache. And she is really open as well and says that this was the unhappiest time of her life. Let's take a look. Do they actually say year knee? Did it happen or did well, it not? Well, this is the interesting thing about it. It's very cleverly done. They talk about the tabloids. They never address mm -hmm. Rebecca Lewis by name. And they don't, certainly, they never have admitted that anything has happened or because it's all alleged. And they certainly don't there. They just talk about how it made them feel in their relationship. So you do feel like you're getting, an, you know, an insider sort of view of what went on, but they yeah. still don't actually it's, address that. It's but, yeah. on the front of a lot of papers today. Yeah. It's very interesting. You've got a real insight into this, Rishi, about how this all came about. Well, so it's 10 years Yay. since David retired and he said he'd been thinking about it and then now felt like the right time. And while he was thinking about how to put it together, he happened to be at a dinner party with close friend Leonardo DiCaprio. As you do. As you yeah, do. Yeah. I think my invitation was lost. Me too. Yeah. And uh, they were chatting. <laughs> <laughs> they were chatting and, and David said to Leo, as we call him Leo, and uh, he said, who do I go to? to put this together. Oh. And Leonardo recommended Fisher Stevens, the American actor, producer, director, yeah. who you might not recognise the name straight away, but if you, you just see his face. You see his face and you know yeah. exactly who he is. He's the, the, the guy from Succession. He was in all of that. So, so do you think it's interesting that an American did it? Because they don't have the baggage, if you like, or the expectations that we would have. He said to me last night that he started watching football post Beckham in the UK. Right. So he didn't have quite an appreciation for just how big David and Victoria were the influence they had, not only on football, but on popular culture, mm. fashion, hairstyles. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. as a result, what I really felt was that he didn't kind of fall under the same restrictions that some people mm. who knew David and Victoria in a more uh, intimate way, I haven't seen more of them in the media, might have done so. He just asked what he wanted to know. There's one point where he asks David, did you ever think about punching your dad when he was being mean to you? <laughs> And I just can't imagine ever asking an interviewee no. that, but it gave a really yeah. kind of certain and mm. raw answer. And I think Absolutely. that really helped in the course of, of what you see, which to me was very good. Yeah. It was a really, really good four-part documentary series. And uh, we always know what we get with David and Victoria, but this is a little bit more and mm. I think paints them in a pretty good light. No, no, absolutely. And why wouldn't it? I mean, they've both worked really hard to get where they are. This is the thing. Um, there were some interesting ones, wasn't there? What was that about when Cruz was born? Uh, there's a brilliant moment where we see for the first time just uh, how Victoria reacted when uh, she was give, about to give birth to, to Cruz, their youngest son. She checked him for a C-section and she's told by David that he can't go to the birth because yeah. he's doing a photo shoot with Beyonce and J-Lo. That is nuts, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, that is when you just think they're just not like us at all. No, so in they some are. ways you're talking about the tidy kitchen and the way that he's very, you know, very, very uber tidy. Um, but yeah, you don't, 
you know, that's never an excuse. <laughs> I don't but, think any of us will have to no, say. It. <laughs> no, I don't think we will. But there are some great moments in there, and they also talk about the weddings. There's mm. loads of behind the scenes footage stuff that we've not seen before. I mean, that wedding was iconic, 1999, with it those was purple absolutely outfits. Absolutely so, bonkers. Yeah. Remember the thrones? Yeah. I think that's a great touch. I've yeah, made well, a note of that for funny. my wedding. Yeah, two just, thrones. Yeah. I think we sometimes forget that sometimes they're having a laugh. Exactly. And I think, yeah, they as are. you said, it shows them in good light. I mean, it won't disappoint. There's lots of stuff sweet. in there. Yeah. Thank you, Rish, for your insight.